coil are rounded on troidal uh, core as shown in uh, figure 5. The core is made of silicon sheet. So this is the material. That's why we are using this, uh, you are see here, this magnetism curve of uh, silicon sheet and has a square cross section. So it's look, it like the previous case. We, it's have a square uh, cross section. The new thing here in this exercise that we have been seen before, here we have a two coils, or we, also we have a two, uh, a two power uh, sources. Okay. Uh, the coils, uh, the current here is uh, I1 is 0 0.28 and I2 is 0 0.56. Uh, 50, uh, so the first question is determine the flux density at the mean radius of the core, which is the mean path or uh, mean length or radius, assuming that the constant flux density, same at uh, the mean radius over the cross section, Determine the flux in the core. So firstly, determine the flux density, then determine the flux in the core. The last question is determine the relative permeability of the core. So firstly, we determine the flux density in the radius, in the mean radius or the mean length of the core. Of course, we are going to use the total the expression of the total EMF. Here you can see here at the figure we have two coils, two power sources, two currents. Okay, so the total EMF is equal to what? Equals to the total MMF, sorry, is equal to N, N1 times I1 plus N2 times uh, N2. Of course, uh, N1 is 600 times 28 uh, plus uh, three, uh, three turns uh, times 0 uh, 0.65 and the total uh, MMF is 360, uh, 336 ampere tour. This is the, the total MMF. This is the first step. The second step, we, are, we, we have to find the field intensity. According to Ampere's law, the field intensity here, of course, Ampere's law states that we, HL equals to, to F, which is NI. So H directly is F over L. So F has been calculated in the previous. Uh, L is the mean circumference of the core. So let's go back to the figure to see this uh, length. Okay, so here the distance here is 21 centimeter and the distance here is 90 centimeters. So the mean radius of this core is, is 20, like this. Okay, so the mean length of this core uh, is 20. So, <coughs> firstly we have, the, in order to find the flux, firstly we have to find the, uh, the, the, the total EMF, then we have the field intensity, which is F over L. L is the circumference to pi, of course, over times 20 times 10 to the power minus 2, and it's equal to 2, uh, 267.38 ampere tour. Here, why we are looking for H? We can, for example, uh, uh, we may find another way to find the flex, uh, the field density, but here, since we have the magnetizing curve, the easiest way is to find H. Then we use the magnetizing curve. From the value of H, we can determine B. 
So let's uh, go back. So since H is 267, uh, we, the, the material here is the silicon uh, sheet steel. So we have 267. It's about here, maybe. If you take this 300, maybe it's like it's here. Okay. So since we have uh, the, the, the magnetizing curve is given, so the easiest way to find B from, from the magnetizing curve is to find uh, H. Same thing when I ask you to find a H from B and I give you the magnetizing curve, we can determine also uh, the value of B. So exactly, exactly, according to, to this curve, it's not precise, of course, but uh, the given value here, the mean of the ra radius, let's put, uh, not the radius, sorry. Uh, the mean, uh, the mean circumference. Okay, if A1, A2 opposite direction, we are going to talk about it. We have an example, okay. It's, it's depend if A, A1 and A2 are AC or DC. If they are AC, there is no problem. But if A1 and A2 are DC, we, this, uh, this should be uh, considered. So in this exercise, it's not uh, specified, but uh, in the next exercise, uh, we have an exercise, I guess, number uh, nine or seven. We have uh, two opposite uh, or two opposite coils. That's why it should be considered the direction of uh, those current. Here, what I mean by uh, the radius, the mean radius. Directly, we mean the mean path. So it's not this edge or this edge. We are meaning this. Okay, the mean, that's why, uh, the mean or the, or the average radius of this, uh, this course, since it's a thick. Okay, let's go back to the solution. Okay, so we have found uh, the field intensity, then from the field intensity, from the, uh, by using the magnetizing curve, we can determine the field density. So here, according to the curve, the value for H equal to 267 amperature, so B it's 1.14. Uh, uh, using the magnetizing curve. This is the easiest way to find B from, uh, from A from the curve using the value of H and H can be found from the total uh, MMF. The second expression, assuming a constant, assuming a constant flux density. So it's uniform flux density. Sometimes the flux density is not uniform, but here, according to the cross section, but here, since we have the same cross section, the flux density is uniform. Uh, assuming a constant flux density in the all core over the cross section of the core, determine the flux of the core. So since here we have the value of the flux density, the flux directly is using the expression of uh, the flux, phi is equal to BA. Uh, I think I give you a review. We can find all the key expressions that we need in this chapter. One of them is the expression of the flux. The flux is directly BA. B is 1.14 and the cross section here, since it's square, it's since it's square, so uh, the cross section is two times two uh, centimeters square, which is 10 to the power minus four and the flux equals to 0 0.30, 460, 56 well, You can write it in milliwebb. So this is directly the value of the flux. The flux is directly B times A because we have a uniform uh, cross section. Now determine the relative permeability of the core. So the relative permeability of the core, we know that B equals to what? B equals to mu H 
and mu itself equals to mu zero, mu zero times mu r. Okay, here we have the value of b. We have the value of h, and we have the value of mu zero. Of course, it's to, it's, it's constant. So we can determine directly the value of mu r. So mu r is equal to b over mu zero times h. So all of these uh, values uh, are given. So now we can determine directly mu r, which is 3393. Okay, this is concerning uh, the exercise uh, number uh, Number uh, number one, number five. So since uh, uh, we have few minutes before uh, this uh, this meeting gets interrupted, I will repeat this uh, solution quickly. Okay. So in order to save it in your mind. Okay. So this is exercise said we have two coils uh, are wounded around. Uh, this core, the first one have made from silicon sh sheet steel and have a square cross section. Uh, this coil have uh, respectively uh, 600 and 300 turns and the currents are I is equal to 0 0.28 uh, and I2 equals to 0 0.56 amps. The first question is determine the flux density at the mean radius. The mean radius means the mean length or the mean circumference or the mean path. All, all, all of these uh, definitions uh, give the same meaning. Assuming a constant flux density, so it's a uniform flux density. Why it's uniform? Because we have the uh, same cross section over the core. The C, determine the relative permeability mu r of the core. So the first question, in order to determine the flux using the magnetizing curve, determine the flux density using the magnetizing curve, firstly we calculate the, the total EMF. The total uh, MMF, sorry, is F is equal to N1 times I plus N2 times uh, I2. Of course, here the current is not specified that those currents are AC or DC are in the same direction or in opposite in the direction. So let's assume them are in the same direction. We have another example later when we have uh, different cases. Okay. So F is equal to 600 times 0 0.28 plus 300 times 0 0.56 and it's equal to 336 ampere joule. The field intensity here, uh, from F we can found determine H, of course F uh, is equal to HL, so H is F over N. So the value of H is 267.38. Now we use the magnetizing curve, of course, for H equals to 267, the material, uh, the material of course is silicon uh, sheet steel. So for 267, we found that H is 1.14. Okay. So according to the magnetizing curve, B equals to 1.14 Tesla for H equals to 267.38 ampere two. This is the first question. The second question is you mean a constant a flux density, so uniform over the core, determine the flux. The flux directly is uh, B times I, A, which is the cross section. We have square cross section, so A is two times two times uh, 10 to the power minus four because it's in centimeter square. And the value of the flux is 0 0.30, 456 uh, Weber. 
the cross section area it's square it's given us square we we have we know that the thickness is two and we square it's mean two times two directly okay. determine the the premier the, the relative permeability since we have the value of b and the value of h and the value of mu zero we can determine directly uh, 